In this video, we'll be going over the Utility Data Hub module, UDH Design Analysis. We will use AUD and SpiderCalc to demonstrate features being designed and laid out in AUD, then being exported to SpiderCalc for analysis, then bringing the results back into AUD. The integration functionality is encapsulated in the Utility Data Hub toolbar. We have the Analyze and SpiderCalc button that takes the features from AUD and sends them to SpiderCalc. The Get SpiderCalc Results button retrieves the results from SpiderCalc and updates features in AUD. The Open SpiderCalc Report button launches a report generated from SpiderCalc. The Settings button gives us information on how the integration works. To select the feature in AUD, we see there is a poll here and there are some attributes that are required to be added to the features to allow it to integrate into AUD, specifically for polls. We have a flag attribute that asks that the polls to be included in the analysis set. We could answer true or false here. We also have a SPIDA analysis results that will show us if it will pass or fail. The SPIDA name is a configuration that maps between the AUD models and the SPIDA configuration settings as defined in the client file. When I click Settings, it will open up the Settings window. It will allow us to control how the integration will occur and the behavior will work. We have an attribute Auto Open SpidaCalc Analysis, which indicates whether or not I want to perform an analysis. If SpidaCalc isn't running, it will automatically open it for me. We have various other configurations for export folders and certain types of models and how they integrate. In this example, Span Guy Models, the name will be treated as Span Guys when being exported. We will now take data from AUD and analyze it in SpiderCalc. It validates all the features in the design set to be exported and makes sure the attributes are set up correctly to support the analysis. If they are, it will take the data and export it into SpiderCalc. Now that it's been successfully exported, we will open up SpiderCalc. We see we have our design laid out. We have a pole here. We have one in the middle. And in 3D mode, we can see more information. We can see the load span pole with a double span guy. And when we go back to the first one, we can see the transformer and the information associated with that. To perform the analysis, we can go to the project tab and everything in the design. We can get all the information back and we can see the first poll is showing in red. This indicates that it has failed. We can now go through and toggle each poll and see the span and condition. We can see that the poll in the middle is passed and that the poll at the end is passed. With the poll that is failing, we can go back to AUD and we can retrieve the SpiderCalc results. We will click the Get SpiderCalc Results button and it will connect us to SpiderCalc. It will then import and update the features. Now when I click on the poll, it will show that it failed during the SpiderCalc analysis. Let's go ahead and go to a different design. In this design, we've added a guide to the poll. What we will do is go through the same steps and analyze this in SpiderCalc. When we rerun the analysis, in this case, it shows now that we have a down guy on the first pole and that it will support that pole. With the rest of the guys in place, the entire design has passed our criteria. Now we can go back into AUD. We can run the SpiderCalc results again. 
click on the feature, and it shows that it passed the analysis. Finally, we can open up a report with the version of the guy. We can see each location, a graphic of the poll, and a documented analysis of reports such as wiring points, anchoring, and guys. And we can print the results off in AUD.